snow day again, guys. We're going to use it to our advantage because I came up with a challenge for Maddie. I was like, hey, Matt, if I can build you a good enough kicker, will you backflip it? <laughs> Maddie actually said yes. Good. So me and Vinny are going to go over there. We are going to build a kicker, hopefully big enough that Maddie can backflip. My goal is to make it about, I don't know, about this high. You guys know. Probably about the same height. I think that's the perfect amount. So let's go do this, man. I think we're just going to load up a bunch of snow and we'll just go from there. So we'll check in a little bit. So the game plan is for Maddie to start on the starting hill like he did in the last video and come barreling down it. We're going to be building a jump right here. Me and Vinny are doing a lot of work. You can see we're scraping a lot of the snow that's around it. But we're running out, so we got a wheelbarrow over there. We're just going to keep on loading it up and keep piling this thing up and try to make something stick out of it. The snow is perfect, though, for building because, like, it's damp and it sticks to itself. So if we pack this in, it should be rock solid, almost like cement, just really slippery cement. So we're going to get back to work. We will check back in in a little bit. This thing is starting to really come together we got a nice mound of snow and now it's time to start shaping it out so I want to make it steep enough that he can get the flip around but not too steep that's going to send him too high in the air because he is landing flat on this one so I'm going to start shaping it in with Vinny right now and we're going to try to make a nice smooth ramp and uh, I think this is looking really good so far we're going to start off by using the shovel part and this is going to start forming the lift this isn't great for packing because it's such a light shovel so we're going to use something else I don't know exactly We'll start with the feet and then we will get something that's heavier. So now we're going to get Vinny to pack the rest of the ramp on the sides to keep it more stable. <laughs> Look who's peeking around the corner. You guys see his head on top of that concrete ledge? What do you think, Matt? Pretty terrified. He's pretty terrified. I don't blame him. <laughs> it's looking like it's going to happen. So I think we got the angle absolutely perfect right now, but we still need to pack it in. I'm trying to come up with a game plan. I want to get some kind of wheel to do it. We're going to go look inside the shop and see what we can come up with. Maybe get a bike and ride up and down it and try to just pack it. So that's the least of Maddie's worries. I want this thing to feel rock solid when he hits it. I think it could be a good option, man. If we could like kind of roll that thing on it while putting got some, weight. Got some weight. Let's try Smooth. it out first and we'll see. So we're just gonna have Vinny do this about 10,000 times at different pressure points, and I think this is gonna be on the right track. And then we can go get the BMX bike and see how the tires react. <laughs> a little too high, guys. <laughs> so we're going to test BMX tires on it, and we brought Big Bertha out, AKA Justin's ride. Thing's super heavy. You try to make it light, but it just doesn't work, right? Just can't yeah. shed that weight. She's just big boned, it's just, it is what it is. What's your first impression looking at the jump? I, I'm, I, it, dude, it's a functioning kicker. It looks good, right? It's a functioning well, kicker. Well, it looks functioning at least. Now you see right. that? All right, so that's where we gotta work. So a BMX tire is a lot different than a car tire. So that made a big difference right there. My biggest fear when we were making this was the fact that it was going to be really hard for a skinny BMX tire to pack in. And that's exactly what happened. So what we're doing now, we're gonna get cardboard. We're gonna use the cardboard bike boxes right there. We're gonna make a perfect strip and we're gonna see if that packs in nice and makes it jumpable. So we have a piece of cardboard that's hanging over the top with a tire leaning against it to keep everything from sliding down. This is super sketchy, man. I love it. Pretty proud of it. You did great, Vin. For the first time building a snow jump, pretty excited about <laughs> it. You did fantastic. Maddie's first reaction. <laughs> Dude, it looks pretty good. It looks really, really cool. I feel like it's like there should be a lake over here, though. No lake. And there's not. just not. Don't feel that. Get there's, that out of your mind. There's just ice. <laughs> Literally nothing else. Okay. Um, I think you should do a straight jump. Maybe two. I think it's a good option. We don't know how this thing's gonna run. I might just do one and we'll leave it at that. Please do. So you get the better option. This is ridiculous. I can't believe this is all coming together. He's gonna do a straight jump to see how the lip feels. And right. we don't even know if this thing's gonna work. Test jump one, guys. How'd it feel? Looked like it was pretty uh, aggressive. Let me get another test jump. Yeah, go ahead. Test run all you want, dude. Test run all you want. It looked real good about that. Even if it hit hard, it looked pretty smooth. It did, it did but, but it we was, gotta make sure it was it's definitely it's aggressive. On. Test jump number two. We're gonna try to pump it a little bit harder and see what happens. That one was way better. That sounded better that time. I'm sad to say it'll work fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an excuse. I can't believe it. It'll complete. It'll be. Perfect. That one sounded good, man. I didn't hear anything Look solid. crazy. Look good on that one. It's just trying not to like push in any direction too hard. Like yeah, trying to pump a lip. Don't be too far. worried about that, man. Just just enjoy the ride. <laughs> I guess so, that's all you can do. Right? Is it backflipable? <laughs> 
totally back. There's no excuse. <laughs> it sucks. I'm so mad. <laughs> I was hoping I'd get a couple extra minutes by you guys like fixing it up or something, but now it's fine. Okay, cool. <laughs> cool. We'll, we'll just do it. it. <laughs> All right, Maddie's bundled up right now to make sure they're a little bit warmer. <laughs> Three Til shirts. <laughs> Three layers. Till the top, Matt. Let's do this. All right. <laughs> Come on. Up there, and then we'll flip and ride away, hopefully. <laughs> I'm excited see about this. Alright, see you guys Come on, on do it. So Maddie's on top of the hill, standing on the cardboard with a pair of dry shoes, so that his shoes... <laughs> <laughs> shoes are dry, we're good! <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. Good news is the shoes are still dry. That was the goal, because we want the shoes to be as grippy as possible on the pedals, so when he comes around the flip... <laughs> I'm glad we had the camera up there. <laughs> Let's do this. So it's a backflip. So it's a backflip back on a snow jump. <laughs> Three, I've never two, seen this happen. One. Yes, here we go. Come on, Matt. You got this one. Matt! Oh my god. So what the lip look like before, Matt? That did not just happen. How are you feeling? My butt cheeks are separated. Spinal. What happened? Didn't look like that before the last run. It looked good before. I pumped right through it. Oh my god. Look at the power I demonstrated through the lip of this jump. <laughs> that wasn't there before. I can't believe that just happened. I was like, I we think I did it. everything right. Like, I've never had that happen on a backflip before, but... I'm just glad you got out when you did. <laughs> that, was, that was great. I saw the bike up in the air, too. I was like, oh, damn it. I was like, you screwed up big time, dude. We failed, and when I say we, I'm talking about me and Vinny. Maddie did awesome. He did fantastic, but yeah, that's that's a failed mission right there, guys. But I'm sure it was so fun to watch. You went wrong today because you had a certified financial planner and a, um, a guy that's a quadriplegic building you a jump. To do a backflip on. Disclaimer. Not engineers. <laughs> do not build a snow jump, guys. It doesn't work. But I'm going to end this video with something pretty cool inside the bike shop. So we'll pick up over there. So this year has been a rough year for everybody. Every person I know, every person in the world has experienced some kind of grief from COVID-19. It has completely turned the world upside down. And throughout all this, all this bad stuff I've seen, I'm sitting back here and I'm looking at my life and I'm just trying to appreciate every little thing that I have because I am so lucky. I am so blessed to be where I am right now. And I try to remind myself every single day to appreciate what I have. I think back to when I was a little kid, when I was just starting BMX. And and when I got my first real BMX bike from this very shop that we're standing in right now, back in 1994, it changed my life. It really did. And I think about all the kids that are out there just waiting to get their hands on a BMX bike. And I decided I had to do something about it. So here at my family's bike shop, we've given away a few bikes this year for Christmas. And I'm so glad that we were able to pull that off. But the truth is, that's not enough. I want to do more. And I want to take advantage of this platform I have with this YouTube channel. And I want to do something good with it. And I actually had BK build up another bike for me today and we're going to check it out right now. So the bike that I'm going to be giving away is a Hyper Wizard frame that is built up with King Complete parts. This frame is in the jet fuel color and it's a 20.4 top tube. Now these kink and mission parts are from a complete bike and they are perfect for somebody that is starting out in BMX. This jet fuel frame looks amazing all built up with black parts. This bike comes with kink handlebars that are mounted to a 50mm kink top load stem. It has a mission headset and kink forks. There are King Street tires front and back, and there is Mission rims front and back. The bike comes with a Mission brake setup that has a stray cable, a Mission seat, a Mission 25 tooth sprocket, and 170 millimeter crank setup, and black kink plastic pedals. I've been riding for Hyper Bicycles for the last seven years, and this is the same exact frame that I currently ride. Now let's talk about how you can win this bike. I want to make this simple. I don't want to make you guys jump through any hoops. You don't have to go buy cancel it down clothes. You guys don't have to buy anything from the bike shop. I just want to give this away. I want to give this away to somebody who really deserves this bike. So the way that this giveaway is going to go down, right when this video comes out, I'm going to post a picture of me with this bike on my Instagram. All you have to do is go and comment on the post. But here's the one catch to it. This is the one thing I'm asking the BMX community and everybody that's watching this video. I want you to take a look at your life. And if you already have 
have a nice BMX bike, please don't enter this giveaway. Let's try to get this to somebody who really needs it. Somebody who's wishing that they had a nice BMX bike just like I did when I was a little kid. And I hope that you guys feel the same way about it. So go comment on the Instagram post right now. You could say whatever you want. If you want to tell me why you deserve the bike, or you can comment for a friend and tell me why your friend deserves the bike without getting too personal and revealing a friend's family situation. And I'm going to pick a name from the comments and I'm going to reach out to them personally and I'm going to give away this bike on Christmas Day. So let's do this guys. Go over to my Instagram right now, put your comment down, and let's try to make somebody's dreams come true this year. And once again guys, I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for all the support over the years, for letting me live this dream. This has been an amazing ride and the truth is I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you guys so much.